Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome, welcome, welcome to my MLB The Show or MLB 19 The Show, New York Mets franchise. I'm gonna call this episode zero only because this, I'm just, there's gonna be no gameplay. It's just gonna be the setup to my upcoming franchise. And of course, if you've been keeping up with my channel, it's gonna be the New York Mets. Uh, so let's take a look at the roster here. We got Jacob deGrom, Noah Syndergaard, we got Juris Familia who came back, Edwin Diaz. Uh, Robbins can know who is uh, a newly acquired person from a trade. Uh, also Wilson Ramos. So they had a really good. I feel like they had a decent. Um, they had a decent off season, and we we got some issues to take care of. Obviously at first base and infield. I feel like the roster is kind of stacked in terms of um, how things are because uh, we have people, multiple people at uh, multiple positions that. You know, I'd rather play them there or something like that. So I'll show you guys. Um, so we're gonna leave the coaching tasks and the general manager tasks at uh, at manual and leave the play development stuff uh, with the computer. So at the regular season, and obviously the first game I will talk about in a few seconds. We're gonna take a look at the rosters here and uh, let's see. Let's see who do we have here. Let's take a look at the starting pitchers. We've got DeGrom, Syndergaard, Wheeler, Mats, Jason Vargas. Eh. Um, in terms of relief, we got Familia, Lugo, Avilan, uh, Justin, Justin Wilson, Seawall, Deselman, and what is... Oh, there he is. Edwin Diaz at the closing spot. And for the catchers, we got Darno and Ramos. First base. Um, so this is a little weird to me. Um, we don't have Peter Alonso only because it's a contractual thing. They can't be in the game until they've made it to MLB. It's a weird thing. But if Peter Alonso gets called up by the time uh, my next video comes out, I will restart uh, my season where the game, uh, where I am in the season. So yeah, I'll, I'll explain to you guys. Oops, I switched teams. Problems kind of at second base. Also McNeil and Lowry there. Todd Frazier. Then shortstops, we got Med Rosario. I don't know why he's in the minor leagues. I'm going to promote him to MLB. And now we have an extra spot for too many players. Uh, center fielders, we'll move Rajay Davis um, to Triple A. I'm not sure why he's there anyway. Um, Brandon Nimmo? Oh, oh, man, this is, this is the situation I'm talking about. We have Nimmo, we have Conforto. Our outfield is kind of stacked, so Unfortunately, I'm going to leave Nemo and AAA, and let's take a look at the lineups here. Uh, again, I'm running with the official uh, MLB lineup, MLB 19 uh, roster, so I will change things as soon as they update it, because I really want the opening day roster, but I'm so excited to play this game, I'm going to get started for you guys. Um, so at first, play, at first base, I got Dominic Smith. I'm not sure if, if that's what I really want to do. Um, I might put Cano at leadoff just in case, and again, this is all subject to change. Um, let's see, McNeil. Do I want Frazier or McNeil? I don't know. McNeil has played really well for us last year near the end. Uh, Judd Lowry is also pretty good, uh, but I do like playing with my Ahmed Rosario, so it's going to be, I guess, a performance thing. Depends how well everybody does. Um, again, I'm going to move Cano here in terms of the lefty, you know, DH. Regares, Conforto. This is where I might put in um, Keon Broxton, or even Lagares. I'll put Keon Broxton in center field because it's a righty match, uh, lefty righty matchup with very advantages for a hitter. And Judd Lowry at shortstop, and Dominic Smith at first base. I might put Todd Frazier there uh, just because. I mean, I really like Todd Frazier, and he killed it for me. The Previous, the previous, uh, previous games that'll be 18 to show. So I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, people around. I'm not even sure to be honest. This, again, this is all subject to change. And I'll keep you guys updated as it happens. Again, a little stacked lineup, which is not a problem for the Mets. Uh, so for, for pitching. Pitching rotation, we're going to have Jacob deGrom, obviously, followed by Syndergaard, Wheeler, Mads, and Jason Vargas. Jason Vargas, I'm going to see if there's a free agent I can get a hold of. And then for the for the bullpen, 
We got Lugo's long reliever, Justin Williamson, uh, Paul Sewell, and Robert Jesselman, all the middle relievers. And for the set of people, it's going to be Familia and Luis Avilan, and then Edwin Diaz, newly acquired Edwin Diaz as their closer. And in terms of our goals, what do we have here? When, we just want to reach playoffs, basically. And difficulty stuff. Okay. So in terms of batting, we're going to be playing with uh, with zone hitting at all star with the with uh, inputting from the buttons and with PCI appearance as well as play coverage indicator. And in terms of pitching, we're going to be playing at legend difficulty because I feel like that's where I excel really well with pitching at analog, up here analog, and let's see, fielding. We're going to be starting with the buttons. Strike zone is going to be on. The hot zones at pitch and preview. Uh, anything, anything amazing here? Uh, we're going to have personalized umpire accuracy only because it's not going to be painted on uh, strike zone. Every umpire is going to be different with close plays, injuries on, as well as ejections, turning off the vibration. So let's kind of wrap it up here for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you want to see the first gameplay video I have for MLB 19 The Show, click the thumbs up, leave any comments below, tell me you want to see more videos, and um, subscribe if you haven't already, click the notification bell, and uh, let's go Mets! And one thing actually before I wrap things up, let's talk about the first game of the season. It's going to be Jacob deGrom against Max Scherzer, Mets versus Nationals, and a big congratulations to Jacob deGrom with his contract extension of five years for 137 I believe it was, 137 million. So I'm so glad he's going to stay longer. And I believe the Mets fans are happy. I don't think they wanted a 10-year, 13-year contract like what uh, Harper and Trout did because, face it, they're going to fall off when they get older, and especially with pitchers. Uh, they might decline faster than uh, position players. But again, congr congratulations to Jacob DeGrom. And let's go Mets.